Oh yeah, I bought the dreaded 6.0. What was I thinking? She sure looks nice though. See what we got under the hood. All right, guys, this is Scott from Hidden Valley Homestead. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and that'll keep us bringing good content to you guys. If you guys have been following along, you've been following our journey as we escaped California. Um, I bought an F-350. So years ago, we had the Excursion 4x4 with a 7.3 diesel. Loved that thing. Uh, Olivia loved that truck. She still kind of wishes she had it, but it was just too big for what we had. And I needed a truck that can pull a trailer. I wanted, always wanted a fifth wheel. Um, actually, I wanted a gooseneck trailer because I plan on having a dozer, which I bought. If you guys haven't seen that video, uh, I'll leave that link in the bottom. Or you guys can look at the, uh, the end links and um, you can go click on that and look at that John Deere 350 that I bought. But I bought the F350 6.0. What the heck was I thinking? What I was thinking was that a brand new F-350 diesel 4x4 is 80,000 freaking dollars. They're expensive, right? So I was looking for 7.3 with some low miles on it. Couldn't find one out there. They're just getting harder and harder to find when it's in good condition, right? Plus I wanted something with a little more power than the 7.3, a little more uh, performance, whatnot, the 6.0. So yes, the 6.0, it's a lemon, right? You can find them all day long for 15 grand. You can find them that have been bulletproofed for 25 to 30,000, right? So I was not going to buy a 6.0. I swore I would never buy a 6.0. I never ever do it, right? Hence my friend, and I'm gonna shout a couple of, of people out right now. First of all is powerstrokehelp.com. Uh, Dave over there at PowerStrokeHelp.com has got a whole bunch of videos. If you guys haven't seen his channel about Power Strokes or diesels, go check it out right now. He as well as Spencer Langston from Langston's Alternative Power, who was a diesel mechanic, just recently told me that this engine is actually a great engine as long as you fix the problems. My friend, a diesel mechanic, he was a mechanic on my crane on the Wilshire Grand. You know, a thousand feet in the air, we had him doing oil changes on a, on a Detroit diesel engine. He has two of them, two six O's. This is an O5. The the O3 and the O4 were the were the were the real bad problems. My best friend had lemon lawed his O3 and turned it back in. He had so many problems with it. So I swore I would never have one. My friend Brian's have, has two of them, and he has the O5s. And he says, well, if you do X Y Z to it, it's a good engine. So I started doing my research. I did not want something with def, right? I didn't want something with def fluid. Not that it's that big of a deal. At the time, I thought it was a big deal. It's not now. It's def's pretty cheap, and it's not that big of a deal to put in and 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 keep topped off. But uh, hence the 6.0. I looked into it. Uh, well, I'm not going to spend twenty five, thirty thousand for a 6.0. So I'm going to find one that's a good price. This thing popped up. I paid eleven five for it. I kind of think they knew that the heads were blown on it. It ran. Everything seemed fine. It kind of kind of missed a little bit here and there. I knew there were some issues with it, but they were giving me a good price on it and the truck was in good condition, 150,000 miles. Not too bad, not horrible, but not as, you know, it'd be nice to have something under 100,000, but it wasn't gonna happen. So I picked this thing up for 11.5 and I went ahead and just take, took it straight to my mechanic and sure enough, the heads were blown on it. Um, there was a leak in the head gasket. So I went ahead and put the money into it and I figured if I was gonna buy one, I was going to pay for the work to be done myself and not take somebody's word that they had bulletproofed it the proper way. When I first saw this thing and I looked under the hood, uh, I could see that it already had ARB head studs in there. Okay, so let's talk about the things that, that you have to do to this thing. The main problem with these 6.0s is overheating. They run the exhaust gases through an EGR cooler. So they're running the coolant through a tube where it also has exhaust gases going in and the coolant is supposed to cool down the exhaust gases for emissions. There's an oil cooler on the top of the engine that also has coolant going through it to help cool down the engine oil for the engine. Both the EGR cooler and the oil cooler both use the coolant off of this radiator. 
This is the stock radiator. It had one of the Japanese Nishimoto radiators and it was supposed to be better, but it was leaking. What they do is they install a coolant filter. What happens is that coolant goes through that EGR cooler and the oil cooler on top of the engine and it gets that coolant so hot that the cheaper coolants, if you don't put the right cat coolant, and that's what I'm saying, that's what I have in here is the cat coolant. It's the best stuff that you can get that they put in caterpillars and it starts to precipitate out. So what happens when the coolant starts to precipitate out? Well, the EGR cooler has little tiny passageways where that coolant's going through, and the oil cooler also has little tiny passageways where the coolant is going through, and it starts to precipitate out, it starts to clog up those little passageways. Then those coolers are not working, and your engine starts to overheat, and it's just a domino effect, and one thing leads to another, and at some point, you blow your head gaskets. And then you don't want to blow them so bad that they you get what's called vapor lock, where you get coolant into the cylinders, and then you're in a world of hurt. Okay, so what happens with Bulletproof? I had left a comment on Bulletproof Diesel's Facebook page, and they were really nice to send me a t-shirt out of gratitude. So uh, I had planned on making this video a while back to talk about why I bought a 6.0 and what I did to it. So this thing is now per completely bulletproofed. I had the heads completely rebuilt. New injectors, new glow plugs, new head seals. This thing's been all rebuilt. And I replaced the stock oil filter with Bulletproof Diesel's oil cooler. And what that does is it bypasses, it runs the coolant through its own tube and does not allow it to touch the engine oil anymore. Now the engine oil is not gonna be cooled by the coolant of the radiator anymore. It's gonna be cooled by its own external oil cooler. So if you guys can maybe see down in there, I don't know if you can see down in there, but there it is. There is the oil cooler, Bulletproof Diesel's oil cooler. So I had also, what was really fantastic about Bulletproof Diesel's uh, customer service guy that I was talking to is he informed me that, because I let him know that we're moving to Idaho, he informed me that there is uh, two kits. I had seen it on the website, but I mentioned, I, I asked him about it and he was very, very kind to tell me Hey, you definitely need to get the one with the um, with the temperature sensitive uh, thermostat in it. That way, when it's too cold, it will shut off this front radiator. And so the oil is going to be going from the oil cooler on top of the engine, and it goes through filters. So here is my filter that goes to the oil cooler on top of my engine, and that is in turn piped to the to the radiator, the oil radiator on fr in front, and then back to the oil co uh, the oil uh, cooler on top of the engine. So it's not ex it's not cheap. It's twenty five hundred bucks, but it's well worth it. I also replaced the EGR cooler, and the EGR cooler that Bulletproof Diesel makes has bigger orifices inside, so you don't have any problems with it getting clogged in case your coolant starts to fail and you start getting uh, debris or whatever or particulates. Um, clogging up the little orifices inside your EGR cooler, okay? So I have my A or B head studs for the higher pressures in the diesel to make sure that uh, I got that sucker, those, those heads clamped down tight. I have Bulletproof Diesel's oil cooler. I have their EGR cooler. I have the A or B head studs. I have the Sinister Diesel coolant filter, which makes a huge difference. Uh, just in case there are any, any, any particulates that are coming out, it's, that filter is gonna catch it first. And then at, uh, at some point, um, I'm gonna be... Now, one, one, th one more thing I'm gonna be doing is installing an SCT tuner. Now, they're illegal in California now. This is an Idaho truck, so that's what's gonna be going on this truck uh, once it gets to Idaho. That way I can have a little extra power when I'm towing. Uh, it also has an economy mode, so I can get really awesome mileage. So, Bulletproof Diesel, I am really grateful for your guys' product. It is the top of the line. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, I did put their turbo in. So my turbo was starting to go out. My mechanic wanted $1,300 for the new rebuilt Ford factory one, right? The only thing that they use is the, is the housing and they rebuild the rest of it. And it's all new, new, uh, you know, new sensors and whatnot. Um, 1300, or, um, 1300 bucks for a new rebuilt one. 
Bulletproof Diesel sells the factory replacement for $800. Yeah, guys, um, Bulletproof Diesel is the way to go. If you guys want to bulletproof your 6.0, and now this thing runs like, it, it runs so clean and so smooth, I, I could not be happier with their product. It is just an amazing product. It's worth the money. Uh, just a little word of caution. Find yourself, if you're not gonna do the work yourself, find yourself a good diesel mechanic. I made the mistake of, uh, we had been taking our, our 7.3 to a mechanic for a long time and then they got new owners and I went ahead and took the 6.0 to the new owners and uh, unfortunately I didn't, I didn't do my homework on the new owners and after about $25,000, they tried to rip me off for a new transfer case. <laughs> and uh, I went to Power Stroke Guys down in Long Beach, California. And that guy, the guy Sal, if you if you guys, I'll leave that link and his contact information as well. If you guys need any work done on your 6.0 or any of your Power Strokes, those guys are honest, they're straight up, their integrity is fantastic, they know what, they're he the, what the heck they're doing, and they know all about these trucks so the shop that had uh, misdiagnosed the transfer case being the the problem that i was having with the clunking and uh, power stroke guys down there in long beach i really wish i had started out with them the first time took it over to them they diagnosed diagnosed it as bad u joints and saved me thirty six hundred dollars on a new transfer case so those guys have won my business uh for the rest of my life possibly for the rest of the life of this truck and while i was there had a talk about bulletproof diesel's uh, oil cooler and they were quick to point out, well, that's a great product. However, the electric fan that comes in the 6.0 uh, doesn't come on until 225, 230 degrees. You need the mechanical fan because if you're sitting in traffic, and this is what happened is I had put in Bulletproof Diesel's uh, oil cooler, and then I went and bought a dozer, and my truck was actually overheating on the way back. It didn't blow up, but it was overheating, and it was, it was not a good situation. Thankfully, I saved it and didn't blow up my truck. I took it right over to Power Stroke Diesel guys, and they said, oh, well, when you put that in, you have to put the mechanical fan in. Bulletproof Diesel, we bought their mechanical clutch. It's a clutch fan, and they removed the electric wire harness and the electric fan that comes with this thing. Uh, and that fan comes on, it's out of a 7.3, comes on at a lower temperature. So, guys, I can't say enough about Bulletproof Diesel's products. Oil cooler, EGR cooler, Turbo, um, fan, everything. They're, they're a fantastic company. So I'll leave all those links down in the, in the bottom there for you. So, so guys, just, just so you guys know how cool this thing's running, check out these temperatures. I was pulling my dozer up to Idaho, 17,000 pounds on my gooseneck trailer. The dozer weighs 11. The uh, trailer is about, 50, about 55, 5,200. I had probably 800 pounds of gear with me. I was, I was hauling 17,000 pounds up a grade, and you can see that those temperatures are just absolutely phenomenal. I could not believe it. All the way up to Idaho and all the way back, not a single issue. Power Stroke guys down there in Long Beach, Sal, thank you very much. Guys, I hope that helped. If that, uh, the original mechanic that I went to, were, they were not super savvy when it comes to Bulletproof Diesel's stuff. They, they were aware of what it is, but they weren't super savvy on the oil cooler so you definitely if you're if you, they had recommended that we i use the stock oil cooler from ford the problem is is it still is going to run hot it's going to run hotter than it than it than it needs to if you're going to be doing a lot of towing you definitely need to do the external oil cooler with the mechanical fan i would highly recommend that so guys leave a comment in the bottom tell me your own experiences with uh, with your bulletproof products and um what you've done to your 6.0 if you want to make this truck run, I plan on putting a couple hundred thousand miles on this thing and I'm going to be hauling a lot of stuff. So stay tuned for further updates with this thing. But um, leave me a comment in the bottom and uh, tell me your own experiences with that. Uh, leave me a good comment. Thumbs up, thumbs down, don't matter, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.